I think the American Humane is a very important person on the set. They're actually, to me, quite vital. If you're making a movie, part of the whole aspect of it is it's supposed to be make-believe. Animals aren't supposed to get hurt. Animals aren't supposed to die. Animals aren't supposed to be terrified. I don't want to see a, a real death when I watch a movie. That's just not what it's about. Um, and to me, the job and the role of uh, the American Humane is to provide a voice for the voiceless. That's their job. They need an advocate. They need somebody saying, no, it's too much. They're too tired. It's too scary for them. It's just something could happen. And uh, uh, I'm glad that we live in a country that has a, a group like that being the, app, being the voice for the voiceless. You know, we do wild stuff involving horses and, and, and it's very exciting action. But we did it all very safely and we took the time to do it. You can actually do really amazing, eye-popping things. You just need the time to train them. You need months to train them, to get them ready to actually be able to do it so they don't get hurt. And so they know that it's their job do it. You know, it's ultimately safe in real life, but it looks gnarly on screen. That's what we're trying to do. So if we're going to go that way, it's just, it's, it's wonderful to have the American Humane sticker. That's why I put it so early uh, in the closing credits. So to relieve audience members, to know that, oh, this was just make-believe. Everything is okay. This was just a fun adventure to watch, and nobody was actually hurt.